was a Chesterfield night before Christmas, and from Macby to Ruby, not a creature was stirring, not even Freddy. Our stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in the hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. Jack was snuggled all safe in his bed, with visions of deer hunting running through his head. And me in my flannels and my coonskin cap was preparing myself for a mid-evening nap. When out by the barn arose such a clatter, I leapt to my feet to see what was the matter. I sprang to the window and ran across the room, armed with my dustpan and wielding my broom. And what to my wondering eye should I see but a big herd of rams flying by me. <laughs> With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in that instant that it must be Saint Nick. Eight dancing rams pulled a big rocking chair. The driver yelled so loud he was heard from the square. On Rambo, on Rocket, on Rhonda, on Regis, on Ronnie and Rocky and Radkin and Cletus. From Macby to Ruby to Mount Crogan and the rest, on to Chesterfield, my rams, do your best. The scene before me caused my heart to excite and led me to exclaim, Rams, let's fight! Then I rushed to the porch to see him off in the night. Then out of the corner of my eye, I saw our lawnmower shake. The house followed in turn, like it was an earthquake. I looked out my window and caught him red-handed. Out in our front yard, Santa had crash-landed. With his hair as white as a polar bear's, tangled amidst the crushed bits of his rocking chair. With the poor man's chair reduced to old wooden strips, I offered our lawnmower to give him a quick fix. <laughs> then Santa came inside, chased by our pup, and proceeded with presents to fill our hands up. He looked right at me before going out the door and said, eyebrow arched, son, you want more? I could stay.